Hey gang, Private Jack here. Okay, in this tutorial we're going to talk about a website that's out there uh, that Source Filmmaker users are starting to find and it's full of a lot of new and interesting uh, assets. However, they're having a real hard time getting them into Source Filmmaker, so I thought I'd make this tutorial on how to do it. The site I'm talking about is a site called mods.tf. What this is is a uh, closed beta website that allows certain users to upload items that they have created for use in t the uh, t TF2 game. So most of these items, if not all of them, are actually created for the player type model uh, that we use in Source Filmmaker. Now, that being said, uh, let's see. What these are are replacement items, so when you click on an item, and I want to find one that isn't an all-player or an all-class player model, so I'm going to click on View More. Blind Patriot for the Soldier. I think we'll try that one. Okay. When I click on it, what it will do is it will present me with a list of items that I can use as a replacement for that particular item. Okay. So if I was to uh, want to use this in TF2, I would click on, let's say, the big ch uh, the Chieftain's Challenge. And what will happen is the website will bundle up a VPK file that is designed to work and replace the Chieftain's Challenge. I'm going to save this to my desktop. And I'm going to close out of mods.tf right now. So here's that VPK that was served to me by, by the uh, website. If I open it up in GCFscape and it's version 1.85 or greater, what I'm going to find in here is a models and a materials folder. Now if I drill into them, I'm going to find that the materials folder has a backpack thing and it's got a player and a workshop item. It, I'm not really worried about the backpack. The one that I'm worried about is models. So I'm going to come back here. I'm going to go into models. I'm going to find that the path is models, workshop, player, items, soldier, blind patriot, and it's all the names of the actual materials are for the blind patriot, which is the item that was created, not the item that I'm replacing. So I know that those materials will work with a... It, as they are in Source Filmmaker. The models, however, if I go into Models folder, I'm going to find that it's Models, Player, Items, Soldier, and the model has been named Chieftain Rocketeer, or Chief Rocketeer. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me, I have a cold. Anyway, make a long story short, if I was going to use this in uh, TF2 as a replacement item, all I would have to do is move this stuff into my custom folder and it should work. Well, you would think the same thing would be true for Source Filmmaker. I'm going to get this stuff into Source Filmmaker now. So I'm going to open up my Source Filmmaker game folder. So Source Filmmaker game. And I'm going to create a new folder. And I'm going to call it mods underscore tf. going to come up here into the root of the uh, G of the uh, VPK. I'm going to grab the materials and the models folders and I'm going to pull those down and I'm going to drop them in that new folder that I just created. So I'm going to go into the mods uh, TF folder. I'm going to grab those two things and I'm going to drag and drop them right there. Okay. Now that that's done, I'm going to minimize these for now because I don't need them. And I'm going to launch the Source uh, Filmmaker uh, SDK because I have to tell Source Filmmaker about that new folder that I just created. So I'm going to come down here to Edit Search Pass for Selected Mod. Click on that. I'm going to find the mods underscore TF folder. I'm going to click that on. And because these are replacement items for 
uh, the player model type missing hats stuff, what I have to do is I have to drag that folder up and above the TF movies and the TF folder so that it will be read first before these guys are. That way the replacement items should replace the items that are in TF. I'm going to click on OK for that and launch Source Filmmaker. Okay, I'm going to create a session, load a map, and stage will do for demonstration purposes. Okay, now I'm going to create an animation set for a new model. I'm going to change my mod filter here to mods TF just so that all I see are the actual models that are in mods TF. Because I've got something here in the filter, I have to clear that. And there's the Rocketeer. But look, the thing is invisible. Come on, back up. Ugh. The thing is invisible here. So, sometimes invisible models work in Source Film Maker, so I'm going to click on it and bring it into Source Film Maker. Move my camera so that I can see the stage. I'm going to grab the position of the root transform and I am going to move that to the default. I'm not seeing anything. However, if I look over here in the uh, console, I'm seeing all kinds of errors for this model. If I hold down the control key, what I'm going to find is all I can see are bones and that is no good. So that means that something is wrong with the model. It's either in the wrong folder, it's not named properly, it could be a whole bunch of other things too. But what I'm going to use is use the uh, console here to find out what it's saying. So what it's saying is I can't load a, VD, a VVD file for the Soldier Blind Patriot and it should be in a workshop folder and yeah, so I mean, we've got problems right there because we know that that model was originally called the Chief Rocketeer. So there's the problem right there. If I actually open up the model file in Notepad++, I will find that the model wants to be known as Workshop, Player, Items, Soldier, Blind Patriot, Blind Patriot Model. So, in order to get this thing to work in Source Filmmaker, what I have to do, uh, I should have left that open because I want to be able to just copy and paste file or folder names and file names. So, what I have to do is I have to create the path. So, models. I have to create a workshop folder. Open that up. Uh, players, items, blind patriot. So let's go back and have a look at that other folder here for a second. I'll get back here. Player, items, soldier. Okay. So if I pull that folder into here, I only have to create a folder and move materials around. Workshop. So I'm going to grab that players folder and I'm going to move it into the workshop folder. So now I've got workshop, player, items, soldier. Now I need blind patriot. And to make sure I've got the actual proper name. Yes, I want to keep you in the editor. I'm going to copy and paste what comes right out of the model file or out of the model file. I'm going to pick these up because that's what's coming next are the models and I'm going to move them into that folder and open that up. Now it says that it needs the blind patriot model. We don't have that. All we have to do now is rename the model
the dx90.vtx and you have to leave the .dx90 there and the VVD file. Because we're working in Source Filmmaker, we don't need the DX80 or the SWVTX files anymore. We can delete them. Okay, now that we've got the path and the model name correctly, I'm going to delete the Chief Rocketeer. I'm going to create an animation set for a new model. I'm going to rescan. It now finds the Blind Patriot. There's the actual hat. I can open that up now. There it is in Source Filmmaker. I'm going to add the soldier. And I'm going to try it on the HWM soldier. I guess I got to get into the all mods here first. There he is. I'll remove his hat. Put him down on the stage. Bind the soldier to the hat. Lock it up. Zero the hat. And there he is. So that is how you get a TF or correction, a mods.tf model into Source Filmmaker. A little bit of a long process, but in order to get it to work, what you have to do is you have to find out where the model belongs, what the model name needs to be, change it all around, and it should work. So, with that, I'm going to close off everything here and say, Private Jack, out.